Yo, what's going on, peeps? No intro needed. You already know what this is. But today, uh, for those who don't know, man, we got the G20 back. She's out right there, sitting right there. You kind of can't see because of the glare. And the garage is kind of <laughs> raised up. But anyway, got the G20 back. Uh, what we're about to do right now is actually start just wiping her down real nice. Because I'm actually going to go ahead and start applying my uh, dino matting. Okay. Yeah, I'm putting dyno matting in the G20, man. Before I do all the interior and all that stuff, we're going to get this baby sounding, getting her sounding real nice from the cabin area. You know, good soundproof, proofing going on. Okay, so yeah, let's get into it. So here's the dyno matting that I have. I have actually four rolls of it. Um, I don't, I forget the dimensions I have, but it's pretty, pretty, pretty long. Okay, let me take one out. It has an adhesive on the back side, but I will be uh, using the adhesive on the back side, peeling that back, and also using some ad spray on adhesive glue. Let me see. I got some, I think it's some uh, adhesive Gorilla Glue as well, okay, just to give it that extra uh, protection when I go to apply it in the van. But uh, here's the roll right here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's 40, 41 inches wide and 100 and I believe 77 inches long, okay, and I have four of these, okay. So yeah, that's it, man. We're gonna go ahead and and start putting some in the G20, man. Fully dyno, matting that baby out before I put all the interior and stuff back in. Okay. see uh we got a lot of this fiberglass in here i still got the uh the top headliner to remove so that's what we're gonna do today remove all this fiberglass kind of remove probably even go ahead and just cut all this carpet out of here too and uh just clean it up you know what i mean and we're gonna go from there guys all right <music> much done with what I plan on doing with the inside today so I removed all of the uh, fiberglass out of here it's just the remnants of the fiberglass on the carpet but I'm not tripping on the carpet too much because again I'm gonna tear this carpet out of here is where all this is gonna go basically clear it all of the uh, fiberglass off the walls and wiped it uh got some all-purpose cleaner and kind of wiped everything down the dust and all that stuff all right so we out here again putting this uh soundproof up in here so i had to go through a little trial and error putting the first piece on but i'm glad i, I didn't waste so much uh before i actually found out uh, a good, great technique to put the apply this stuff in so what we're gonna do so this sheet right here this big one right here so I actually cut it all out, got the dimensions, cut a big sheet, and I tried to lay it across. Uh, ran into several problems doing that. 
As you guys know, I'm trying to use the uh, Gorilla Spray-On Glue, and this piece is actually adhesive, which you gotta peel back. So, trying to do it in a big sheet like that, it kinda got messy. As you can see, I got a lot of air bubbles in there, and it's not, it's not sticking as good because it's kinda hard once you start peeling back the adhesive and then applying the Gorilla Glue, Spray-On Glue on the back of it and putting it in there, it's just hard to manage. Okay, so I actually, right now, I actually decided to just cut them. These are, I believe, 11 by 21 little sheets on the outer edge, but the three inner edges is 21 by nine inches, okay? So it's a lot easier to just go ahead and cut them up in little pieces like this and uh, apply it in, it sticks great, it's a lot easier to manage, and because I'm trying to get the most out of this uh, soundproofing dyno mat without all these air bubbles, okay? So that's how I'm gonna go ahead and apply it in to the rest of the ceiling. And then it'll once I uh, get through plugging in these big, uh, these big uh, cutout areas, then I can always go in and, f and fill these uh, in with, you know, pre-cut, and I think this is about an inch, and just cut them by 21 inches, okay? That way I can get the most out of it, because I'm not trying to go through the whole van wasting it and and uh, getting a lot of air bubbles, okay? We want to do this right, so for all you guys who are trying to put dyno matting in the G20, this is going to be the best route, in my opinion, to go with, okay? So I'm not going to bore you guys in showing footage of me doing it. I'm going to go ahead and just get the work and then show you guys the ceiling once I get done. All right, let's get it. All right, so we got the uh, top dyno matting in the G20. And as you guys can see, I just went ahead, like I mentioned earlier, I just cut the pieces out and uh, it was a lot more easy and more, manage more manageable to just do it that way. It took a little bit more time, but... Um, I don't mind, uh, you know, taking a little bit of time as long as it's done right. You know what I mean? Okay, so. And I didn't take this off. I kind of was able to salvage it the way it was. I kind of just just cut lines through the middle and tried to just push it up. But I felt there was no reason to actually take it off and apply a new piece and all. So I just left that piece there. But going forward, as you can see, I got all of the little individual pieces in there and only thing left to do with the ceiling is do the side do the sides over here and over there and then go ahead and just fill this these uh, little slats up with dyno matting and uh, that's it for the uh, ceiling okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stop there and uh, yeah to be continued man so tomorrow I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing these walls and I'm actually quite surprised because I was able to do the top with one one roll. So I thought I was going to use like two, maybe a roll and a half to do the top. But no, I was able to get it with one one roll. And I have extra pieces right here that I'm going to go ahead and fill the cracks up with and, and whatnot. But yeah, I was able to get that whole ceiling with one. Just took a little time. But uh, nevertheless, we're going to come back tomorrow, guys. And uh and try to get the uh, sides done, okay? All right, so we pretty much got all the dyno mat in where it's supposed to be. I just gotta remove this, uh, remove this old carpet in here. And as you can see, it's all on there. Got it on the roof, right? So that's done. So next, what we're about to do is, see that, that foam there? I got, I got some, uh, foam right here already and this is some pretty thick foam it's about an inch it's about an inch thick so we're gonna definitely definitely make this thing soundproof as possible then I got little rectangle soundproof and foam right here that we're gonna put in each individual slot right here and just go ahead and maximize the best way we can okay so that's it man we got the dyno matting in all on the door trim and everything okay 
and we're finna start installing the phone. All right. All right, guys. So we got all of the insulation in, and we got the flooring in the G20, baby. Okay. So this is what she looks like now. No more that blue carpet. We got the uh, the wood vinyl and plank flooring in the G20 now. And it's the same color wood scheme that the uh, trim is going to be. So I tried to, you know, match it and make it look all original as much as possible. Okay. So that's it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Next, got more videos coming. But anyway, it's your boy Crease, Crease TV. We signing out, man, with another video down with the G20. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll definitely catch you guys on the flip side.